out is of the cool work. thing is it's binding free. So think about like, so today again, sorry, I, I get excited about this. I forget how tragic the world is without <laughs> outside of our walls. Um, the thing we're competing with is if you have a big blob of Python code, which a lot of us do, you build it, build it, build it, build it. Performance becomes a problem. Okay, what do you do? Well, you have a couple of different things. You can say, I'm going to rewrite my entire application in Rust or something, right? Some people do that. The other thing you can do is you can say, okay, I'm going to use PyBind or NanoBind or some Rust thingy and rewrite a part of my module, the, the performance critical mm -hmm. part. And now I have to have this binding logic and this build system goop and all this complexity around, yeah. I have Rust code over here and I have Python code over here. Oh, by the way, you now have to hire people who can work on Rust and Python and like that. <laughs> <laughs> like right. this is this fragments your team. It's very difficult to hire Rust people. Like I love them, but it's, there's just too few of them, right? And so what we're doing is we're saying, okay, well, let's keep the languages basically the same. 